Hello. Hello. And welcome. Welcome. Today, we have a, another very special seasonal item. Yes. From Starbucks. Yes. Which is the pumpkin cream cold brew. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Uh, but yeah, uh, this drink is a grande size. Seasonal, grande size. Mm -hmm. seasonal, it's like uh, their, their medium. Yeah. It's, it's like the, the cold brew coffee with like a thick layer of what appears to be like a pumpkin whipped cream. Cream foam. Or cream. Yeah. And oh, on top, so they've got like a little cinnamon or pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. It really smells like... You can actually smell it. Like cinnamon, yeah, 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 like, yeah. like pumpkin pie kind of. Through the lid. It smells really good. Smells I want to. I want to take a sip of it before Ooh. I stir it just to see. Okay. So you want to... Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's see how the cream is. Whoa. Very powerful. I got more than the cream. I, I feel like cheated. I got all of the uh, the spice. And I feel like it totally was like like a cinnamon rush or, or <laughs> nutmeg or whatever that is. It was really good. Really good. But uh, my first sip was just a little... Overwhelming. Over spicy. Yeah. Okay, so... Do we have to mix this? Ooh, um, you took the lid yeah, off. Yeah, I'm taking the lid off. The cream is very thick. It's hard to see, but look at look at all that cream. That's a lot of cream. Yeah. Whoa. So, uh, okay, in okay, order okay. to incorporate this a little better, I am stirring mine vigorously. Not too vigorously, because it's pretty, pretty full. But yeah, the cream's really mm. thick. Oh, wow. That's really good. <laughs> It's like oh, yeah. really good. It's basically just like uh, whipped cream. It's like whipped cream, but like pumpkin flavored. Yeah, that they put on top ah. of your your mm -hmm. drink. So that's mm -hmm. pretty good. I don't know if that's how they do like their their regular pumpkin spice latte. You would hope not because they charge. Well, actually, this drink is like fifty cents less than the <laughs> the pumpkin spice latte. This one was like four seventy five, I believe. Maybe because this is cold brew and uh, uh, latte is espresso. It is espresso, yeah. I like. I'm trying to incorporate all of the foam in there. It's really hard. It's it's super it's probably it's super not dense. possible. <laughs> and I feel like if you look at my drink, you could tell like up here is still kind of cream, and then the coffee's down here. I stirred in as much as I could. It's 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 good right now. Okay, I'm gonna try it as is. Very very coffee flavored. I know some of the uh, fancier frilly, you know, <laughs> Starbucks drinks can kind of be a little more uh, sugary or milky. Mm -hmm. This one's not like that. This one's not. This is this is for me. I love just coffee or espresso, and I usually drink mine just black. So for me, the fact that this has like a lot of really good strong coffee flavor is really nice something that like if you're on your way to work or if you just need to wake up early in the morning like take your kids to school do whatever yeah this is awesome because it's like you could tell it's got some some strong coffee in it it does have strong coffee in it which is why i'm not personally a gigantic fan of it because yeah. i do like a little sweeter a little sweetness in my drinks mm -hmm. which this does have especially the foam by itself is amazing it's oh, yeah. literally pumpkin whipped cream tasting that's precisely like what it tastes like to me um but then when you mix it all with the coffee it's still not i still i'm missing it like I, like i don't know not your thing no not really but i mean it, it's a good it's a good drink if you if you're more on the coffee lover side rather than the sweet drink side but you want to like spice it up one day, this is a good option because it's not as sweet as like a pumpkin spice latte or the uh, other one that we tried the other day, the iced yeah. apple. The iced apple macchiato Yeah. Uh, was okay. It, 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 the, the flavor was a little, like, like I had just said, for me at least anyway, a little too milky, a little too sugary. And uh, the apple just didn't really work well with the coffee. In, in my opinion, definitely. Some people, yeah. I'm sure, will love it. Maybe it's, like, a thing that's, like, specific to certain regions. I don't know. But, I, you know, just wasn't my thing. This, uh, like, I, I'll i probably get, like, one, maybe one pumpkin spice latte every year. Just to, like, sort of, like, you know, enjoy the season. Yeah, who? I mean, who doesn't, right? It's fun. I'll have a couple. But, yeah, I'll usually have, like, one 
Uh, but for me, it's just not strong enough as far as the coffee. And it's usually more about the like, like it's fall, let's get a pumpkin spice latte, you know? That's why like, orange. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yay. Yeah. Pumpkin team. Pumpkin team. Pumpkin heads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so um, this is this is a little stronger. I could see getting this a few times, and especially on like a, a hot day, because even in the fall, like it doesn't cool down until like late September, <laughs> or or even like October. You know, I think last year it was really warm up until like November. True. But, it was awful. Uh, yeah, definitely love how they have. It's more nice. Variety. It's nice that they have a variety for sure. Um, so super coffee drinker approved and not so much coffee drinker but coffee enjoyer not so much this one if, if you if you enjoy the pumpkin flavor but maybe not so much of the strong coffee i might suggest just getting a pumpkin spice a spice latte but get it iced because mm -hmm. it'll be very similar to this i just think the this is a lot of cold brew and it's yeah. very 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 like it has a nice bitter flavor which is really good and it doesn't ha have that like I'm sorry Starbucks but sometimes depending on the location or I'm sure certain workers you know may not be as experienced with the machinery or whatever it is but I'm sorry Starbucks sometimes your coffee is burnt and I've experienced that on more more than a few occasions at Starbucks and not so much other places so mm -hmm. I kind of always have that like I like prepare myself for the burn for for it being a little like overly bitter and burnt mm -hmm. and when it's not I'm really pleasantly surprised and this is really good like this is a I'm really surprised that you like this one I wasn't sure but I, yeah definitely. I know you like cold brew so this is perfect actually mm -hmm. if yes. you like cold brew if you love coffee get this one if you two want thumbs up from me I I really enjoy it I think it's something that uh it's a little bit stronger for the real you know heavy coffee drinkers who like like myself or I know other people who prefer their coffee with just a little bit of sugar a little bit of of cream or milk or whatever mm -hmm. you put in it and this is perfect this is a good holiday thing because you can get can you get this warm I'm sure you can't I don't know because it's cold brew right so this is an exclusive cold drink I believe yeah huh? and they have mm -hmm. the, the hot one which is the latte but I'm pretty sure you can get that one iced so these are available now, by the way. Yep. Obviously, we got them. We're not like... Go out and get them all. Yeah. This isn't like secret menu item or anything like that. It's conveniently off the freeway. For yeah. <laughs> so um, if it's not at a Starbucks near you, because, I mean, everyone's yeah. by a Starbucks, right? Like uh, pretty, pretty much. Pretty, they're pretty everywhere. Close, yeah. They're kind of everywhere. Unless, but... unless you're in like a farm or something where you're like super far away from like everything yeah then i'm sorry that you know then you you don't have as easy access to starbucks but if you're in the big city <laughs> and you find yourself you know by a starbucks you know check it out it's it's pretty good why not you know um i'm glad i tried it even though it's not my favorite i do really like the cream though I'm tempted to just only eat Scoop the cream. it up. <laughs> but it tastes like when you put whipped cream on top of a pumpkin pie. That mm -hmm. it really does. It's it's really nice. It's so good. It's the best part of this drink for sure. But honestly for me, I'll probably stick with the pumpkin spice latte from now on. Unless they have another like new one, I'm down to try it. But uh, if if you're not like super in love with the coffee taste again you'll probably be like more how i am with this one which is not loving a little, it a little indifferent not loving it but yeah kind of kind of indifferent but i probably wouldn't get this again unless i forgot what it tastes like and i want to try it again but so there, there you have it there you have it you know uh you got both sides of the spectrum mm -hmm. here. You know, mm -hmm. you got a real big fan of this drink and you got someone who, you know, maybe not so much, but. Not so much, yeah. That being said, it's definitely a uh, good fall flavor. Yep. Um, and what I was gonna say before oh. I kind of got sidetracked was that, uh, you know, if you live near a Starbucks and they don't have this just yet, cause 
you know, right now for us, you know, um, these drinks are pretty much at every Starbucks and it's still only August mm -hmm. or late <laughs> August. It's going to be September yeah, in a few days. So, uh, insane. you know, if they don't have it at the Starbucks near you, uh, you know, maybe give it a few days or maybe just ask them. They might be able to make it for you if it's not on their menu that at the Starbucks by us, they have like the the big menu like the 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 sandwich board the little mm -hmm. thing that has like the all the seasonal stuff or whatever like i think a couple weeks ago it was like the strawberry funnel cake yeah uh, like yeah. like Frapp frappuccino or something like that so uh that that that's it yep. i can go on for for days that's but uh it's the caffeine talking hmm Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for We're watching. We're going to go get a big breakfast to, yes. to, to wash this coffee down. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.